to sync your Dropbox account to a portable USB drive, make sure you've downloaded the software and you obviously have a flash drive with a reasonable amount of free capacity on it. We're using Dropbox Free, so that's it. we're limited to 2 gig anyway. If you open up the zip file that has all the files in and either extract them or copy them to the root of your flash drive and run Dropbox Portable AHK OK, I'm going to leave it on its default. You can change the name of the Dropbox folder if you want. Fair enough. OK. And the normal Dropbox setup will spring into life. I already have a Dropbox account. Next. If you watch the first video, you'll see the first thing I did was go to uh, the Dropbox website and set this up. So. Next, and it will connect to your Dropbox account. We're using the 2 gig free. Next, and we'll leave that all on its default. Just click next, 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 all the way at the end. And don't panic about that error. it's doing now is it's connecting and it's syncing to Dropbox. Don't worry about that error, I say that every time you install it. So. Just OK that and get it out of the way. Well, I'm going to close that down. Now, if I rerun Dropbox Portable after a couple of seconds, hopefully, there we go. It'll create the My Drop box or whatever you set it to in the setup, and slowly in the background, it'll be syncing your Dropbox files into there. And that's what's going on here. There's the test document that I put in from my Linux box in the first video, and if I open up folders. There's the penguins that I put in from me Windows box. If I close that down now, if I now I unplug my USB drive and plug it back in again. There we go. And open it up. All I need to simply do is run the Dropbox Portable to fire it up. And you'll notice I put an auto run on there. Windows 7 um, auto run files no longer work for sensible antiviral reasons. If you've got an older Windows operating system, then your auto run inf would, would spool that up for you. Right, just finally to prove this is working, if I drop something on my USB drive into my Dropbox folder, I just find a suitably large, if I go to Windows directory and look for a notepad, if I just drop a copy of that in my Dropbox folder on my USB drive, that'll sync back up to Dropbox. It's not that big. So, let's hover over that. It would appear Dropbox is updating in the background, so as a background activity, it'll be syncing that notepad back to my Dropbox account. So, if I just close that down and make sure that's working, if I zip across to my uh, Linux box and open my Dropbox on there, 
Hopefully there'll be a copy of notepad.exe in. There it is. That's it synced. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlive.com. Thank you very much.